made famous by Hollywood stars smoking in the movies, the Zippo has become one of the world's most famous lighters. Made in the USA, the design is based on an old Austrian model and is made up of just 22 pieces. Construction starts with the famous lighter's outer shell. To produce these windproof icons, this factory in Bradford, Pennsylvania uses a massive 8 kilometers of nickel-plated brass every single day. It's first passed through this 100-ton press, which stamps out the bases and the lids for each new lighter. The finished pieces emerge from the far end of the press, whilst any leftover waste is collected in this bin. The freshly pressed pieces now have Zippo's unique markings imprinted on them, a tradition which started in the 1950s. There's a code to those markings which any dedicated fan would know about. The letter on the left signifies the month of its production and the number on the right is the year. Special edition Zippos are collector's items and the identification helps enthusiasts know how old their lighter is. Once the tops and bottoms have been made, they need to be assembled. It's not a very exciting job and it's also quite repetitive. These ladies have to produce over 60,000 every single day. That's right, 60,000 a day. This carousel includes a spot welding device which joins the bases to the lids ready to house a new lighter. With a reputation to uphold, Zippo makes sure that every new lighter that leaves their factory is absolutely spotless. Every case is sent through several acid baths and then on to be plated. This is where they get their characteristic shine. A wide variety of textures are available and one popular variety is the silver plated model. Once the acid's washed off, the next step is quality control. Each case is checked by 20 different controllers to ensure nothing is missed. The Mickey Mouse style gloves aren't for fancy dress, but product protection. Made of ultra soft material, the gloves keep the brand new cases spotless. Zippo's inner workings range from a tiny flint stone to create the spark to a selection of several cotton wool balls which make up the fuel reservoir. The wick is inserted from the bottom and sits in the compartment with the cotton wool which is soaked in lighter fluid. The fuel is drawn up through the wick to be ignited by the sparks but the key design difference is the windshield. Made from a piece of steel peppered with 16 holes, it keeps the flame alight in strong winds. The next step is one of the strangest but also most important jobs. Zippos are famous for their characteristic click, and while the inner workings are installed, this worker has to check that click sounds just right. Even here in the repair department, the repairers must make sure that trademark click is still there. Precision engineering at Zippo allows the company to offer a lifetime guarantee on each one. Lighters returned to be repaired always go back to their owners with the trademark click intact. Some of the lighters that are sent back to Zippo for repairs are just too far gone for anything to be done to resurrect them. If this is the case, the factory will send out a replacement instead. A staggering 2,500 lighters are repaired each week in the capable hands of these repair shop workers. And it's not just the click that needs repairing. Sometimes the whole case has to be built from scratch, but that's all part of the guarantee. Once it's been rebuilt, it's sent back to the owner free of charge. Now that might sound expensive, but if you think that over 400 million lighters have been sold since 1933, they can probably afford the cost of a stamp.
Worldwide demand is enormous, and every week the factory produces 200,000 new lighters. And despite the current trends that are seeing smoking becoming less popular, the demand for this iconic lighter remains pretty hot.